What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me again here on Public Sci Outdoors. Tonight is the unveiling of our new camera. As you saw in the intro there, we've already unwrapped this thing and uh, have it here sitting. We also have our uh, hand-me-down that I mentioned from uh, my father. Uh, really a pretty cool camera for as old as it is. Uh, been able to kind of mess around with that a little bit tonight and, and today when I picked it up and uh, I think that's really going to come in handy as far as pictures and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, there we got both cameras now. The brand, well, not brand new. This one's about three, it came out three years ago. And this one came out back in 2006. So, uh, pretty, pretty uh, dated camera, but I'll tell you what. This Canon, this is the Canon Rebel EOS XTI, and uh, it just, this is back when it was uh, really a big deal to have the, the digital uh, screen on them. So we've got the, the screen on it here, menus, all that good stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool little camera. We've got a couple couple different uh, lenses with it. We're going to shoot videos with this one and take pictures with both of them and kind of compare them. So uh, right now I'm shooting on my phone so you can see how well that looks. Uh, the phone has done a really good job for me but we're going to go ahead and switch this out. I can shoot 4K videos, but I can't download them to my computer because my computer is not fast enough. Anyway, so we had to drop down into resolutions and all that good stuff. All that's above my head. I went down to, to load. I started out 4K, 130 pixels, then 4K, 24 pixels, and then both of them were just like... So 4K takes a lot more processing power, I guess. But it's still going to give me good videos. Better videos than my phone. I've got the uh, zooming capability. I'm happy. We'll take this down and we'll process it, see how it does. Be back in a bit. Today's going to be a fun day. Just a fun day. Uh, we're going to get these cameras out and kind of put them to the test here today. So, uh, I'm filming here on the new one, sitting on a tripod in the seat. We're going to see, I've done that before with my phone, we're going to see how shaky it is and how sturdy it is. It looks like it's going to be pretty sturdy on that tripod. We're going to go down to Harland and, uh, do some do some walking around out there and some filming and see what we can uh, find to film oh there it kind of wanted to go uh, find something to film there and then uh, shoot a little bit b-roll take some photos with both cameras and see what I like and uh, yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna have fun today just gonna have fun if this truck keeps running for me. I don't have a microphone set up yet, so the audio is probably not gonna be the best. I'll have to work it over in uh, in editing and stuff, but that can be done. Um, mm. We need to turn around. I gotta check my tire pressure.
put this camera to the test. Put the uh, put the uh, battery to the test. See how it performs. Let's do some beat roll.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, that video. We we got a lot of B-roll today with the animals and the eagles and the, all the critters that we could find. So uh, it was just nice getting out today and and putting this camera to the test, see what it was capable of doing. And for the most part, I think it, it worked pretty good. It uh, The battery life was excellent. Um, we started about 11, 11, 1130 this afternoon and then uh, ended at about 430. And I had one bar left after shooting all, all day of nothing but video. So pretty happy with it. I think, uh, you know, you get one or two more batteries. You definitely have ample ample uh, time to shoot so we may end up uh, upgrading that uh, SD card I don't know we'll have to see We've got 128 gig pro uh, 4k SD card but I know if I shoot 4k it's gonna eat that thing up like uh, a dog on a bone so like I said, it was a fun day. We, I had a, a blast out there. We, uh, we did some walking in, a, in the area that I usually hunt for turkeys and, and uh, ran into a couple guys that were from Franklin there, uh, neighboring town, and they were doing some fishing off the dam. And shout out to those guys. Uh, told them about the channel. Hopefully they're, they're uh, going to sign up and and watch the videos up from here on out but uh subscribe and hope you enjoy the, the channel so um yeah they kind of turned me on to the the eagle sighting i saw the eagles uh earlier in the day kind of just flying around but um those guys were telling me that you know they sit right here in this tree and that's where i got a lot of my shots so Thanks to them for for letting me let me do that and, and uh, pointing those guys out to me. Cool. You don't. I have. I mean, eh, especially around here, you just don't see. You know, we have uh, turkey vultures that fly around, and they're they're a good sized bird too. But man, nothing like those eagles. Those eagles are beautiful, and they are big. Wingspan on those things have got to be over six foot. I mean, they are just huge. Like a B-57 flying through the sky. I mean, it's just ridiculous when you get that close to them, how big they are. We had some juveniles in that group. I think it was a, a pair of adults, and then there was probably uh, three or four juveniles that were in the same area that they were kind of kind of getting the wings under them and <clears throat> doing some flying around there at the dam. So that was a really cool opportunity to be able to see those those uh, bald eagles flying around out there we didn't do any hunting but you know it's it's about being an outdoorsman enjoying the outdoors and uh it's not always about the the shooting and killing so remember that everybody it's you know we got to enjoy the things that we have and, and uh not take them for granted so we're uh we're looking forward to 2020 with the new gear and everything so thanks for watching public side outdoors and stay safe in your hunts everybody and we will catch you on the next video